This is a human study in Eastern Europe. There's a, a, a group of Ashkenazi Jews who are fortunate enough to have a mutant telomerase. It's not really mutant. What it is, it's more active. It's just less repressed because telomerase is repressed. The genes there, it's just turned off. Well, they're just turned on a little longer. And I'll cut to the chase with you. What happens is they have longer telomeres. They live a lot longer. Many of them are super centenarians. And they don't get many of the diseases of aging until the last couple of years of their life. So here's an example of what happens when people get longer telomerase. Okay, now we want to do that, and most of us are not Ashkenazi Jews, and we don't have that genetics, okay? So let's do something with this telomerase activator, telomerase activator number 65, TA65. Let's look at that. It works, and we know that it lengthens the critically short telomeres in every single person who was studied who took it. We did a study. We looked at that parameter, which is not something you and I can do other than I happen to be in the study. So um, I, it's not a test that's readily available. You can't get it commercially. But when we did it, everybody, everybody got lengthening of their short telomeres, those critically short ones that put the cells into apoptosis and send static activation and senescence and cause that inflammation. It's expensive. It's not for everybody, okay? But I did ask somebody what their life was worth. Uh, for less than $2,000, you can take this, so you're not ruled out. And some of you said 10 million. Well, how about, you know, eight grand a year, four grand a year, 2,200? It's expensive. It's not for everybody. But there's nothing else on the planet. Somebody's going to ask me, why is it so expensive? Save it for the Q&A. Okay? I'll be happy to tell you. It has a dose-dependent response, but it works on telomerase and everything. The changes come in the doses with the objective findings, the sex drive, the, some of the, uh, the appearance studies where, where people look younger. Those are, those are subjective. You can't measure those, okay? Okay, which mouse is older? Kevin, where are you? I saw you in here somewhere. Kevin is one of our wonderful friends. He's, he's taking care of me while I'm here. Uh, Kevin is actually, I'm going to cut to the chase again because of the time, but the, the younger Kevin is actually eight years older. Now, Kevin's been on TA65 for a relatively short period of time, but he's also practiced those other four pillars of health for quite a lot longer, taking some fish oil and taking some good supplements, taking better care of himself, and reversed all those big three, methylation, inflammation, and glycosylation in his body, and now he's reversing his telomere length. And he looks much better. And you'll meet him. He's over at our booth. Come say hi. Human study. Telomerase activation, TA65, significant improvement in the immune system. Why is this important? Because people who live past 80 start to stop dying of heart disease and start to start dying more and more of cancer. And they start dying more of infections. And those are diseases of immunosenescence. So when you reverse that, you make them much more capable of handling this. Skin improvement, vision improvement, sexual improvement. I don't know how they studied the sex. Don't ask me. It was a questionnaire. <laughs> Larger human trial done recently in September. What did it show? Everybody got longer telomeres, especially the short ones. The mean telomere length didn't change because the mean telomere length is a lousy test. The short telomere tests, the ones that are critical, the ones that age you, all got longer. Everybody got massive improvements in their immune system. Those who had viral loads from various and sundry viruses, including CMV and HIV, went down. We didn't, see, we didn't discriminate in this. We took everybody, young, old, cancer, non-cancer, and they all got healthier. Better cholesterol, better blood sugar, better inflammatory markers, better eyesight, better skin elasticity after one year. Okay. All right. Is it the Holy Grail? Um, in my opinion, yes, and it's the first Holy Grail. There'll be others, but not for a while. This is what we have right now, folks. And it's astounding. Maybe was my real answer for you. And now, the, here's the real key. For the first time, we have a way of truly reprogramming our DNA so that we don't have to bump up against sickness and aging as a disease, that we don't have to bump up against the human limit of aging, which is genetically pre-programmed. We have a way now. And we'll get more ways. But this is always going to be a central central way of doing it, telomerase activation. So take care of your telomeres, folks. Okay, what happens? How soon do you see results? Well, I'm going to cut to my story. The biomarkers we'll get to, I told you, it's not particularly the best way to measure. Um, some of the other biomarkers, like blood pressure, cholesterol, glucose, insulin, inflammatory, are really good. Telomere length is, is not really good unless you can get the short telomere test done. Um, my personal results were just what I wanted. I got on this 
because I wanted to run faster. <laughs> and in three weeks, I took a full minute off my one mile interval times. I went from seven minutes a mile to six minutes a mile. I didn't do anything else. Okay, and I'm still running six minute miles. Not for 80 miles in the Canadian death race, but one at a time. Okay. Not bad for an old guy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, I'll, be 50, I'll be 52 in uh, about four months. I better walk the walk. You know, I, I went to a, a conference one time where it was really sad. They, they, there was people selling weight loss, and they were both like 300 pounds. You, you know, you can't, you got to walk the walk, folks, right? Okay, what will your doctor say? Always ask your doctor. This is an old slide because lots of doctors are getting hip to this now. They used to roll their eyes and say, that kind of stuff, that, you know, the first grade stuff. You know. And uh, I don't know anything about it. It's still probably the most honest answer. It's not FDA approved. <laughs> Do I care after what the FDA did to me? Okay. It's a scam. How much did you pay? <laughs> and then finally, more studies are needed. And they are and they always will be because all basic researchers make their living doing studies. God bless them. And there will always be more studies needed no matter what you're looking at today. I've seen enough, and there will be more studies. We're doing one right now, and we're looking specifically, or we will be looking specifically at 80 to 90-year-olds, how many stay alive longer on the TA65, and I know it's going to work, and, and also we're going to look at cancer in those people, and I know the rates are going to go down. Questions you should ask anybody who tells you anything about it, because there's going to be a lot of posers out there, folks. You can read about this on the Internet and read all kinds of crap, okay? There's the questions you should ask. Okay. There's where you should get it. I'm reprogramming my brain now. Okay. Thanks, man. That was Let's awesome. Let's give it up for Dr. Dave! You're not going anywhere. You're staying here. All right. We got some questions yeah, for I, you. I've been reprogrammed, so here we go. Thanks, we man. can reprogram your DNA. You are, you are cool, man. <laughs> you are definitely cool. I knew I got this poncho for something. All right. I kind of like this look, huh? <laughs> oh, no, no. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> it's cacao powder. That's the part he didn't know hey, about that story. You can't go wrong with that, right? <laughs> you cannot go wrong. All right, I'm yours. Okay, so I wanted to ask Dr. Dave, let's say I was taking TA65 and I started to reverse my telomere length or started to lengthen my telomeres. And let's say I was, say, 20 years old, then I became 18 years old, then 15 years old. You were wondering this, weren't you? Like, do I go back to puberty or what goes on at that point? How badly do you want it? <laughs> 16, I'll take that one, but 13, right. I'm not sure about that. Uh, TA is, is, is not strong enough to immortalize you to that point, as far as we know, although the longest person who have been on the product is the owner of the company is five years. Now, we said also, by the way, that if anybody stole the TA, if a bunch of people came by and stole it, we would know because there'd be a bunch of people in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> So I wouldn't worry about it. Telomerase is a very intelligent enzyme. It will find the short telomeres and fix them, and then over time it will lengthen them. But uh, the answer is no, you won't revert to puberty. But you could revert to bench pressing what you used to when you were younger. Did, that happened to me. How about that? Yeah, so I, I've, been taking, that? I've been taking t uh, TA65 for two months. I think I told you this. That's you why did. I brought that up. You did. I, uh, I, I this guy's a very good that. memory, by the way. I don't know if it has anything to do with that fish oil, but it might. Um, I said I was I was with Truth Calkins and we were at Lynn and Rebecca's place and we were bench pressing and Truth said, "Dude, to activate telomerase, you actually have to do you have to go to complete exhaustion. You have to burn yourself absolutely out to the nth degree." And so like I just you. kept going. I kept going. I ended up doing more than I had done in 20 years. So I thought something's different. By far, I mean, really, by far, it was so shocking. I was like, "What's going on here?" So we know you're not 20. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just told us. 
Okay, so now now we got to talk about other candidates for telomerase activators. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of that in your book. You named mm -hmm. fish oil as one of them, potential candidate. Mm -hmm. I've heard of other herbs now that have been kind of parading around the field and asking my friends and herbalists and doctors and everything. I've heard hierataki, which is one of the triphala combos in an, in an Ayurvedic formulation. I've heard purslane as being one of them. What's your best guess is on the next TA65 type of compound coming down the pipeline? I wouldn't be surprised if it's mushroom based. I wouldn't be a bit surprised because of all the bioactive compounds and things like cordyceps and reishi. And okay. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that's true. I'm just going to say I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, we can, we can measure all this. And uh, what I suspect is if, if you sent those off to be tested, they would probably be negative. What you probably have to do is isolate. You know, you have to honestly do the drug company thing. Isolate the natural molecule. Just don't screw with it. Leave it as it is and then concentrate it. That's what we do with TA. Okay, so let's talk about the astragalus, astragalus side 4 TA65 compound. Mm -hmm. So you've got, uh, obviously, this particular herb, which is astragalus, mm -hmm. and then there's one particular alkaloid, which is generally the dominant alkaloid in astragalus, which is astragalus side 4, mm -hmm. where TA65 is sometimes found, not always, mm -hmm. right? It's now, right. now, how in the world was that figured out, that that's the particular molecule that they were going for? Like, what's the research history of that? Because I've heard different stories, I've been telling people different stories, but I'm not sure which one's the true story. Uh, it was found by accident. Now, Usually is. this is folklore, okay? Remember the alleged part? So this is from the deep, dark vaults of Geron, where the, co the compound was found. And so I could be making this up, okay? That's all I'm going to say. They found we it by accident. You. They were looking for something for HIV patients to reduce the viral load naturally and to uh, help them cope with the cancers that they get and to also um, reduce the amount of medicines they had to take. And that's what they were looking for. And they found this compound that, lo and behold, was a phenomenal immune booster. And then Cal Harley, who's a brilliant scientist at Geron and was aware of telomerase, realized, hmm, this is doing something to these immune cells. I wonder if it's a telomerase activator. And lo and behold, he was smart enough to the right person at the right time. It, it is an estragenol, oh, I'm sorry. It is an estragenol based, so it's a polyphenol based on uh, all the other polyphenols, but it's got a couple tweaks, which I, again, can't specifically tell you because it's internationally patented, but it is only found in a very small number of the astragalus plants. And those of you, who, are any wine buffs in here? Okay, you know the term terroir? T E R I, -I the, the soil and humidity. And there's something about uh, northwestern Mongolia that has the right terroir, and it also has the right subset of astragalus species. But even in that, you, you've got to go through about four tons of astragalus to make one course of TA to find those molecules. One course meaning a year's course or one bottle? Uh, one course. Um, it's probably about a ton per bottle. Okay. Yeah, of root. Wow. Yeah. And That's a lot it of doesn't roots. happen anywhere else. We've been looking. It doesn't happen. Yeah, when do you think the next breakthrough is coming down the pipeline on all this? A couple years. I mean, the thing is that Bill Andrews has been testing. He's tested 30,000 compounds so far. And he's found 29, and they're all human toxic. So they're, they're out there. We just got to find the one that doesn't kill you. Okay. So 30,000 compounds later, we still don't have a replacement for TA. Bill, by the way, that's his job. That's what he does. He was the first person to take. The guy who discovered the human telomerase gene was the first person, a non-doctor, to take, he's a PhD, to take TA-65.